welcome to episode 61 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics chronologically, kind of. All right. Going into Detective Comics number 65 here. Let's get the credits out of the way. As this one is called The Cop Who Hated the Batman. It is ris- written by Joseph Green, different writer. We were just talking about that last episode. Yeah, I guess not. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Penciled by Jack Burnley, different penciler. Totally. Uh, inked by George Russo's and Ray Burnley, different inker. Letter by Irish Schnapp. Edited by Whitney Ellsworth. Executive editor Whitney Ellsworth. Cover artist was Jerry Robinson, Jack Kirby, and Joe Simon. So disregard my comment about it's going to be Detective Comics writers, Bill Finger, and, you know, the regular writers. Yeah, so yep. <laughs> Jack Kirby drew the cover and Joe Simon, the guys who created the Boy Commandos, which we'll get into the reason for in a moment. Uh, what was that? I think well, Luppy has a monster in his house. Something, <laughs> something sounded like it was dying, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> that's the cats fighting again. Oh, I see. I sound like the Tasmanian devil was in his house. <laughs> his name's Vanilla, and he is the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> uh, he's not going to stop now. This ain't even a Catwoman episode. <laughs> the two of them are fighting on my steps right now. All right. Well, this one was released in July 1942, and this uh, this cover is Batman and Robin meeting the Boy Commandos. Welcoming them to Detective Comics. Which, again, yeah. made me mad, because they have nothing to do with this comic at all. <laughs> and yeah. they look like the Munchkins from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have something to do with the comic. They're in this comic. Well, but they're not in the Batman story. Batman's just one of the many stories in Detective Comics. I so why didn't have but... Slam Bradley welcome him and get him out of Batman? Because Slam Bradley's the last story. It's Batman, and then they follow. Out uh, right after him. Yes. I just, again, assumed that we were going to get to see Batman with the Boy Commandos. And you do. And, and you do, if, right here. If you want to yeah. advertise your new guys, you put them with Batman. True. Anyway, this comic is 10 cents. And, yeah, it's, there's really nothing to the cover in this one. It's just them talking to the Boy Commandos and them being impressed. So far. And how swell they are. They're swell. Um, All right. This one's not signed. Don't they usually sign this? And he usually signs... Bill Finger signs the splash page in the Batman. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> moving on from the cover, I the next page on this one has a book review for The Lost Caravan by Waldo Fleming. So, what? Yep. There's a book review on the next page. Oh, oh, oh I'm like, what is he talking about? Because you... you uh... Yep. Robot it a little bit, and then I'm like, "What is he talking about?" I thought you were—I thought you had a title for the splash page. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we have a new Superman secret message: Uranus we're number never six. Know. We're never I, gonna know what Superman says. I actually deciphered all of them. <laughs> oh, did you really? Yeah, I was wow. doing that. I was doing that before we came on, and I told you I was doing something stupid. Yeah, that's what you were doing. <laughs> So I did decipher the three that we've came across so far. You want to know what they are? Well, if you deciphered them, yes. All right. The first one back like four comics ago was... Where did I write it down? Hold on. Under stupid codes. There we go. By defense, STFPA, and look the other side. What? By defense, STFPA, and lick the other side. I don't think you're doing it right. That doesn't make any sense. What is uh, what does it I, mean? I thought the same thing. I was like, what the hell is STFAPA? So I looked it up, and the STFPA is apparently the Special Task Force Protection Agency. Really? Yeah. I don't know what they're trying to say there, no. but ba- based on the future codes that I'm deciphering, I think it has something to do with stamps. Like getting to buy war bonds or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. That's what I think. Because the second code I decipher was uh, to keep them flying, keep them buying stamps and bonds. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're trying to get kids talked into buying war bonds and stuff. <laughs> yep, that's what that one was. And then the one for this one, I think they messed up. Or you did. 
No, because I tried <laughs> to decipher it thir- four times, and it came out the same time every time. And it says, every bond you buy blooms. B-L-U-M-S. I have no idea what that word is. Every bond you buy blooms the axe of the axes. I think they meant burns. Huh. Because every bond you buy burns the axe of the axes. You know, the axes powers from World War II. Right. Wow, but, but they got Superman hawking war bonds. <laughs> essentially, yeah. Yeah. And so that's what those codes are, and they were stupid. It was a waste of my time, so thanks for making me do it. Okay, keep doing it. Yes. <laughs> because this is stuff we need to know. If Superman's sending secret messages, I think we need to know it. But this isn't a Superman podcast. I know, but Superman's going to tell us stuff. Whatever. <laughs> well, are you satisfied that you know now? Yeah. Even though I think you did it wrong, but anyway. No, you can decipher it yourself and tell me if I did it wrong, because I tried it. I was like, there's no way this is Blooms. I think they put the wrong letter there. Anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to look it up, but I am not. Oh, don't try to look it up. I tried looking it up. There, it's nowhere on there. The I, secret. You have to not I had the I had to actually decipher it because I could not find the answers. Because, you know, this is seven decades old at this point. Huh. Yeah, I don't... There's nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we open up with this splash page with... I guess Batman's holding Robin by the armpit. Or a scruff of his neck or something, like a kitten? Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really weird. Looks like. <laughs> because he's just floating in the air. Batman's yeah. got an American flag in the other hand, and he's on the shoulders of two... I'm guessing they're state troopers. State troopers on motorbikes? Because this but, is dedicated to state troopers, so... Yeah, but... Am I missing something here? Is I don't think state troopers are just do the things they do in this comic. Well, th- no, they're just regular police, right, in this comic? Yeah, I thought they're just jurisdiction within the state. Yeah, I think they're just dedicating it to them because of their, you know. But the the guys they come across in this, they call state troopers. Oh, are they? Yes, are they, they mentioned as state? Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I don't think they know what state troopers are, or maybe that's what they did back in the 40s, but. And what state is Gotham in? We still don't know, so. Well, I've come to the conclusion that it is in New Jersey. Okay, it's so New we Jersey. still we're thinking Gotham is in New Jersey. So they're state troopers for New Jersey, then. All right, but I guess anyway. No, they're not because we'll get to it. <laughs> so we open up in a flashback, apparently. Right. Where two guys are are trapped in a building where the cops have them surrounded. Yeah. And they're telling them to surrender, but then Batman crashes through the window and takes them down and beats them up. This is before he was had Robin, though. They make sure to point that out to us. Well, because they say it's 1937. Yes. But uh, he doesn't make friends with the police till like, 30, 40, right? Yes. Right, 40. that's what they're doing here. He's not ah, friends with the okay. police here. Okay. Yeah. So, he beats up the thugs, but the other guy gives up, but then he's suddenly shot. In the back by the other guy, and Batman couldn't save him, so he leaves a note saying the other guy shot him. The other guy got away, and this guy got shot, and that's the end of that. And then we cut to the future. Batman and Robin see the bat signal, and they rush to Commissioner Gordon's office. And Commissioner, when they get there, Commissioner Gordon says, "Slow down, slow down. I'm going on vacation. You want to go on vacation with me?" <laughs> that's how you <laughs> asked them. I, I mean, I guess how else do they contact them though? They don't have the red phone yet or nothing, so. But it's still weird the commissioner is like, come on vacation with me. And you're going to be away for like a week, but you got to wear your bat suit the whole time because nobody knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's going He's going to the northern states is what he says. Yeah. This so, is also why it made me think this was New Jersey. They live in New Jersey now. The mountain of right, northern Right, so they're states, leaving yeah. New Jersey and going north. Yeah. Okay. Because if it was Chicago, it's in Illinois. So it would be Michigan and then Canada, whereas northern states implies there's more than one. So you would think. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So, <laughs> but they're going Batman- to see the state troopers barracks, barracks. or something, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't know why they have barracks, but okay. I, mean, I don't know anything about it. They possibly now. do. Well, anyway. We do. I mean, it's called the state troopers barracks right here by our house. But is it? It's just barracks, or is it like a station? It's a station, but it's called the State Troopers Barracks. Right. Okay, but this is like barracks in the middle of a forest. But yeah, this is weird. But but that's why they say it's in the north because it seems like it's got to be in like 
Maine or Vermont or something because they're literally in wilderness. Like, yeah. yeah. And why did they just go to their own state state troopers barracks? Maybe uh, all the state troopers go to the same training barracks or something. Very possible. Uh, maybe I don't know. Anyway, Batman and Robin agree, so we cut to them driving up to the state barracks. And Batman's being introduced to all the cops, and they're all like, oh, wow, it's Batman. Except for this one guy who had captured another crook that was hiding up in a, in a cabin. And he brings him over, and he introduces him to Batman. And, Bat- and he's like, I don't want to shake your hand. I hate you, Batman. And then he storms <laughs> off. And so what? I don't want to meet him. And then the cops are like, wow, he's not usually like that. And Batman's like, it's okay. It's fine. And then for some reason... Batman has nightmares about this guy yelling at him. He's hurt, he hurt his feelings. The guy hurt Batman's feelings. <laughs> he did. And <laughs> at one point, Batman says, this is the weirdest mystery I've come across. I've read all your comics up to this point, and there's been some weird mysteries going on. I don't think this is the weirdest one you've come across. Well, it's nobody ever hated him that wasn't supposed to. That's why it's weird to him. Well, anyway, apparently there's a, a, a the dam broke, and it's flooding the city. So, I guess it's the state troopers' jobs to go save everybody? Well, the state troopers essentially do what the police do, right? Because we don't have a local police department. I live in the woods. And we don't have a police department down here. We They only use state troopers here. Yeah, that's all I have is state troopers. Well, that's troopers, why I thought. So. I thought their, their, their jurisdiction was just the state. Whereas municipal um, buildings like take care of cities and stuff like, like that, like the local police through the yeah. local, but the, yeah, but where we're at, we don't have any local at all. Well, the, but that, so that would we fall do under the dis- in one town that's in your okay. jurisdiction, but the right. troopers have jurisdiction over the town's police. Okay, and they have they have more jurisdiction over like the highways and stuff like that, where it's exactly. not within within the thing. Right, they could chase you a little further, I guess, but um. If it was flooded, I guess they would send them to, to help people, though, right? Right, but you would think there would be, like... Fire department? <laughs> fire department, you know, maybe Coast Guard, <laughs> yeah. if it's yeah, this yeah. bad. Well, and again, so even for our town, like, we don't have a fire department that would... I mean, they would help, but our our, our fire departments here are all volunteer. So, yeah. actually, state troopers would do it. They have boats, and they have stuff like that. So, we would have that here. That's yeah. funny. Our fire department has a boat, though, too. Yeah, we have, we have forestry here, too. But we, um, mm-hmm. but we would rely solely on the state police as a as a government entity because our fire department's not a government entity. It's it's just volunteer. I love how I'm thinking. I live in the woods, where you're way deeper in the woods than me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah. technically, we your the state troopers that that come to your house are the same barracks yeah. that comes to my house. Oh, wow, really? I didn't know that. And Same you're like an hour and a half away, two hours away from me. I am not. I'm 15 <laughs> minutes from you. You just drive slow. It's very far. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they're saving people, and the cops are ha- helping, and Batman and Robin are helping. But Batman sees two looters. So I don't know where he swings from. I guess he's attaching his rope to the sky again. Yes. Yeah. Because He's good at that. he flies over to the other, this doesn't make any sense, because they're on they're on the side of the building go, trying to go in the window, and it looks like Batman lands on the roof. He catches them on the roof. Yeah, they, maybe they were climbing out of the window, going up to the roof, and he caught Maybe them on the that's roof. what it was. That's yeah. gotta be it. But yeah, so Batman goes up, punches one guy, but they punch him, and then Batman falls off, <laughs> off into the water. He swings over there like a hero, and they punch him off the roof into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Makes him look like an idiot, for sure. And nobody catches the looters. <laughs> <laughs> we never see the looters again. They get away. <laughs> they're gone. Yep. They save Batman, and their looters just get away. Yep. And the well, guy who hates Batman saves them, right? Well, we're getting yes. to that, because yeah. Batman falls in the water, and as we established, though... When he falls in the cold water, he, he gets his superpowers. Yeah. Unless he gets hit with a log that so happens to float by and pops him in the head. Well, they had to do something because we've seen a thousand times the cold water revive him. So he was probably getting revived and that log went thump and knocked him right back out again. Yeah, it touched the soft spot on the back of his head and knocked yeah. him out. Yeah, his, his, his kryptonite they do They do kind of show the log hitting him in the head. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but it's not... I can't imagine it's going that fast that it would knock him out. Well, it says yeah. it thuds him into unconsciousness, so that is a count, right? You have to count that, don't you? Well, yeah, it's, that's his 35th knockout. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but is there two knockouts here? Why? 
one off the roof and then again in the water. No, because he fell into the water. He wasn't knocked out. The That's water rejuvenated. That's true. He probably didn't. Yeah. Right. So, but the only person that sees Batman fall into the water is the cop that hates him. And he's like, maybe I should just let him drown. He but thinks no. about it. He thinks yeah. about it for a second. He's going to let him die. Uh, but he's like, no, I can't do that. And he dives in and he saves Batman. Yeah. And Robin's like, thanks, pal. And so Batman goes to thank him. And he's like, and but the cop's like, I only did it because I would save a drowning dog. And I can't let anyone die, even you. And then he slams the door in his face. <laughs> and then he takes out, uh, the cop takes out a uh, newscaper, Clinton, about how Mike Bandit was dead. And the, so the story is, this guy is the son of the robber from the the flashback in the beginning yeah. and he thinks batman shot and killed him and but so batman was never arrested why did he why does he still think that if nobody else thinks it well he thinks the of the guy that his partner in the crime could come has knows this and just never came forward and told anybody oh uh, right okay i get it now. yeah because they were friends that guy would never kill his dad right yeah exactly and so they're out the shooting range and like here Batman here's a gun shoot it yeah and Batman shoots it and, and, and he it's shoots like it expertly yeah. yeah yeah uh, because Batman that, never uses a gun okay he hates guns he uh, hates guns sure sure cause he uh, he like takes it jovially here and is like sure I'll try it out and and put six bullets in the dead center of the target yeah. so apparently he's used one before yep and he's used it effectively before yeah, yeah we he's used it in our comics that we've read yes but it's, As we've been going through, they've been trying to push like he's, you know, he's like, uh, he, doesn't he doesn't like the guns. Yeah, he doesn't like and the it's, guns. It's true, since then, he doesn't. But them right. saying that Batman would never use a gun is total bullshit. That's not true. He did use <laughs> yeah. He used it in this comic. Eventually, he yes. would never use a gun. But now, he right. does. Anyway, Batman shooting the gun makes the cop mad, and he starts attacking him. Yeah. And they're like, all right, you're... You, for striking, we're going to arrest you for striking a brother officer. Yeah, like, because Batman him. is an honorary officer. But that's not an actual officer. Right. Batman is not, not technically trained as an officer. No. He does not have a badge. But God, I miss these old times where they would just let you fight it out if you wanted to. <laughs> and they did. You know? You know, now, like nowadays, you'll both get arrested for like assault. Well, back then, you want to fight it out? Go ahead, fight it out. Yeah, because Batman's like, don't arrest them. If he wants to fight, we'll fight. And then they fight. And Batman kicks his ass, but he keeps getting back up. And he's like, you got guts, kid. You got moxie. Yep. <laughs> but, and so they, the cop's boss tells him to go take that criminal you caught for earlier to the city jail. So he goes to the jail, and the criminal's like, hey, I know the guy that was friends with your dad, and he's here. Let's go to him. <laughs> Conveniently. <laughs> and so he's like, and the cop's like, Really? Okay, let's go. And then Batman and Robin follow on skis. Okay. Well, because we gotta have ice skates and skis and water walking shoes and stuff. Yeah, it just... You gotta be a little different sometimes. Did they bring those Apparently. skis with them? I, I, uh, yeah, Batman's I got a his utility thing. belt. They're folded up in his <laughs> utility belt. <laughs> Hurry up, Robin. Get your skis out of your utility belt. We gotta yeah, go get the bat skis. These guys. <laughs> All right, so the, the crook leads the guy into the cabin and pulls a gun on him. How did he get a gun? Who, Batman pulls a gun? No, no they, oh, the that crook, guy. who was yeah. under arrest at the time. Where did he get a gun from? Maybe, well, isn't he on skis at some point, too? No. Yep. Yeah, they the are. criminals not? Batman they're... and Robin are following them, and they're on skis in front okay, of them. Okay, they're ski on to skis, the cabin. but the cop with them has been with them the entire time. Is the cop in on it? No. <laughs> no, he's not. No, lift him up, <clears throat> copper. No, yeah. yeah. I don't and, know that. And if he has again the entire time, why didn't he just, sh like, shoot him in the middle of the snow? <laughs> shoot his way out right. of jail. I mean, he had to have it in jail then, too, when they yeah, moved him, right? I didn't, whatever. He pulls a gun on this guy, on the crook, on, on the cop, I'm sorry. And then Batman shows up and saves the cop. And... Oh, the... Bat Robin overheard them talking about how he the cop thinks that Batman shot him and the, his friend, and they find out who he really is because the cop changed his name. That's why Batman didn't recognize him because I guess right. Batman Batman remembers every crook he's fought uh, ever. So yes. yes, he's the world's greatest detective. He remembers everything. But anyway, so they beat him up, and then the guy who actually killed the cop's father shows up. He's he is here, and he shoots. Who does he shoot? 
Well, he shoots the guy that that what's his name? Soapy, Soapy. Snowy or so- Soupy. Soapy. Soapy Joe. Yeah, Soapy, Soapy Joe. Soapy Joe. Yeah, so he shoots him because he was he betrayed him or something. I don't know. It's not important. And so he um, he shoots him and just like and he says. Right, he starts talking about it, but Batman does a a Darth Vader and says and yells, "Nick Rocco," <laughs> and so he's got a gun on him. So he ties up the cop, Batman and Robin, and they're like, "All right, we should kill him now." But his goons are like, "No, we can't kill them. If we kill them, we're gonna be hunted all over the, the country." And so they leave him there to escape. Three seconds later, so stupid. Yep, yeah. they're immediately being chased by them on skis, and then we get a whole ski. At thing. least they should. At least they should have took their skis, and then they couldn't have followed them. I thought that's what they were doing <laughs> when the guy has the skis in his hands. I'm like, oh, okay, they took their skis, and then one panel later, they're on skis, and I'm like, okay, you know, he was well, just getting his own skis. Their own skis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. just- so yeah, so they beat them all up. They capture the guy to kill the cop, and then they let the cop beat the crap out of him. To make himself feel better, and then Batman and the and the wait, cop. What? Wait, wait! You skipped the part where Batman tied his cape to his ankle so he could fly over the cliff. He used it as a sail. <laughs> they both did. Batman and Robin. Yeah, they couldn't get across like a big jump, so they tied their capes to their ankles and and ski jumped, and it made them like glide across further. So how did the cop get across? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They never even show the cop until he's just there yeah, until the they end. beat the guys up. Yeah. I and guess he Batman went around I up. guess he went around the chasm. I Most guess stuff. so. So yeah, the cop beats him up and they Batman and the cop make up and the they're end. friends now at the end. Yeah. So what does that it's supposed to be the story of how Batman got in go with the cops. Isn't that what it said? No. It wasn't? No. <laughs> no. Huh. No, it was just that it was a uh, flashback story of how the cops used to hate Batman, right? Basically. All right. So we normally end it there, but the next page I got is an advertisement for Batman 11 and World okay. Finest Comics. And World Finest Comics may have the most racist thing I've Uh-oh. ever seen. Really? <laughs> We've seen some bad things, too. So We've I seen some pretty bad forward. stuff. Yeah. It's a, it's a guy in an army uniform, and he looks like a monkey. And he says. <laughs> Yes, uh, buddies. World's Finest Comic is the only magazine containing both Superman and Batman. Oh. Yeah, it it looks really, really bad. He sounds like, like the crows on Dumbo, right? Like, look at it him. It looks look like him. that, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want to see that one. Yeah, We're going to pretend like that never happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't it, have that one. <laughs> it is super bad. It's like <laughs> blackface you wouldn't believe. Really? I know I have that comic, too, but I don't, I'd have to get up and like walk into my... Uh, Comic room, which is the closet in my bathroom, to get it. Well, it's the ac- <laughs> it's Detective Comics, the actual original, because it's oh, ad. oh, oh, oh. It's okay. ads. I thought you said it was for Batman, you know, 11. No, it's it's an ad for that. Oh, okay. Well, good. It's just an ad. Well, we won't ever see it. You're the only one going to see it and be subject to it then. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I might put it on YouTube just to show it. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> anyway. All right. Good. Individuals, Batman, Robin, James Gordon, Mike Nolan, Nick Rocco, Soapy Joe, Tom Bolton, and it says individuals, and then listed under individuals is the Gotham City Police Department. <laughs> I don't know why that's an individual, yeah. Uh, locations, Gotham City and Gotham City Police Headquarters. Items, the bat rope and the bat signal. So, back to the ads real quick. The Batman and Robin is advertising their own book, and Robin's face is just completely colored red, like a tomato. Really? Yeah, it's that's super weird. weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Like, you think nobody looks at this crap? It's just like, yeah, put it out, who cares? Uh, Robin's sort of, red now, yeah. Sort of looks that way. Wow. Anyway, go ahead. That's it? Everybody's done? I don't have anything else to say. Okay. I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was I decent. I was... twist. I thought it was good. I thought it was a little predictable, honestly. It was a little predictable, too. Like, I didn't... I don't know. I, well, and they, they gave you that he was the son pretty early on, so yeah. they didn't keep it like a big secret. Yeah, but I kind of knew it from the beginning. I, I I thought it was like his brother. I didn't realize it was his dad, but I kind of yeah. was like, oh, he's just like the brother of this guy or whatever. It's, right. But, you know, it's I was going to say classic storytelling, but I guess it's not classic in this time period. But <laughs> It's new, brand new. Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. So this is the last 
comic for I think like s- seven out of the next eight have out of the, for Detective Comics have like rogues gallery villains in them. Oh, really? Nice. Good. Yeah. Like new ones introduced to. There's a, there's one new <coughs> one introduced. The Penguin comes back. The Joker has a couple too. So. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey, good. We need that. In fact, the next issue we get an uh, introduction to a classic rogues villain. Good. It, it's been getting a little stale. A lot of the, a lot of repet, re, repetitive comics, and I, we need somebody new popping in. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's it, right? Yeah. But speaking of not being stale, how about a fresh joke? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Why, why did all the pictures come out dark from Batman's party? Why? He forgot to invite the Flash. <laughs> At least here. that one was superhero-y. And Joe, it was a joke, too. It wasn't a pun. It wasn't yeah. a, a statement, like he didn't like my last statement. I mean, again, it wasn't really a joke, either. <laughs> They're all jokes. You don't know what's funny. When did you become a critic? I mean, <laughs> for, I've been one for a while. <laughs> for 61 like, ep- 61 episodes, episodes at apparently. Least, at least, and <laughs> years before that. <laughs> so. It's true. It's true. Years before that. <laughs> uh, whatever. Are we done? I'll read it there, Bye. Chief. TJ here from Comics and Us, just here to plug the social media. Check us out on Twitter. Our handle is at every T and Us because someone took everything and us, but the name of the Twitter page is Everything and Us Podcast, and then the handle is at every T and Us. You can also check us out on Instagram, which is also Everything and Us. These all encapsulate all the podcasts that I do, but these are going to find all your updates for Comics and Us anime and us so forth and so forth you can also contact us right now at everything in us podcast at gmail.com still working on the website and until then that's where you can get a hold of us that's all thanks for listening talk to you later bye